NetSuite Fixed Assets or FAM. You will see FAM mentioned in NetSuite on a lot of records. So FAM stands for Fixed Asset Management. I am going to be looking at processing um, assets in NetSuite, asset proposal, asset generation and, and asset depreci depreciation. I'm not going to in this video focus on the setup. Right, you have to go through that. You've got to set up asset types. I will look at a couple of them, but just as far as it relates to this video. So here under transactions are the important ones, right? So there's also disposal, revalidation, split and transfer. But I'm really going to look at these three. That's that's the important part. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to look at your accounts um, setup and you will if this is an account search and I've added special account type and shown fixed asset management because you have to get this set up right really important all right um, then here is the account that I've set up for new construction and you'll see I've got that um, set up there for shown fixed asset management I've set up um, an asset type where I have used this same asset account right and I've given it some other accounts there then I have a, um, a service const new construction item right um, where I have set up the expense account as that account that I just showed you in the chart of accounts and here I have a bill now I'm also not going to deal with midlife assets I'm just going to deal with assets that you buy um, via a bill a vendor bill so I've already done one so I'm just to save a bit of time I'm just going to make a copy of this and I will say test video bill fam so that's where you will put in your bill on the actual vendor bill and I'm going to say a video and uh, all of that is good I've used my item so this is really important right so this item must be linked to the account where you want this asset to end up in the fixed asset account all right and so let's make this 20 and let's make it 35,000 each I know that's really high but I prefer to have a big amount so it's just kind of obvious when you look at the balance sheet Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Yep, alright, I've exceeded the limit, that's fine. This is only a test account. Right, so confirmation there. So I should now be able to go to fix assets, transaction, and asset proposal. Right, so if I then go, I know it was new construction, and I know it was. US West subsidiary so I'm then good then gonna go ahead and click propose new assets it's gonna go and look at all the ethics assets accounts is there any new transactions in there and then it's gonna pro propose assets based on those new transactions all right so propose new assets and now you'll immediately see this sits now at queued I will refresh that and it's still on queued. Might take another couple of seconds. I will just pause for one minute while the clock rings outside. Right, and you will now see this process is now completed. And if I go and look at the details, we can see there one new asset has been proposed. Right, so if I now go back to transactions and I go back to asset proposal, there you can see it is now f found this new transaction in there it's picked up all the details right um, and that comes from the asset type so I'm gonna say yes 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 you can do them all together I'm just doing it separate for the minute and now so I've already done the proposal right so here's the proposed asset now I'm gonna go and generate this asset Let's go generate. All right, now you can see that's an acute status. 
asset generation, we'll refresh that. Right, and now you can see it's now in progress and it's now going to go through a couple of stages. Alright, so the first one is generating the asset. Still generating. I'll pause for one second. Alright, so that is now complete, so we can go and look at the details. And it says there, generation, generate depreciation schedule values, completed. Assets method processed, one. Fabulous. So now we can go and, sorry, transactions. Now, asset creation, you're only going to use, <coughs> excuse me, if you do not want to first go through the proposal stage. If you just want to say, look, I just want to create assets without looking at them, without proposing them, you can you can just go ahead and uh, create, use this transaction. Yeah, I prefer going through both those stages. So the next thing we want to do is we want to depreciate this asset. So we'll go, we want to do this for that date there because I've already created a depreciation for those periods. So I'll go 27. And I'll go version video, and then we'll say waste, and we'll say new construction, and let's go and depreciate that asset. Okay, again, that is now an acute status. I will just pause for a sec. There you can see it is now in progress. Process stage two out of seven, create journal entries. There at the moment you can see it's now in the third stage, prepare data to update records. Now it's in stage four, update asset records. Still in stage four. Okay, and now that is also completed, so let's go look at the details. All right, you can see here's all the stages it's gone through. Update tax methods, those weren't required. Right, so now if we go and we go and look at our list of assets, we should now have a new asset, right? And there it is. See that bill was 700, here we can see, it gives us all our details there. Right, you've got a whole bunch of other details you can see here. Um, you've got, you can also tie this to a lease, which is very handy. You can see your tax method, if you've disposed it, usage, sub-assets that have a parent-child relationship. Right, and so let me just quickly go and show you the journal. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, and there is the journal. You can see there it says video, right? So there's your journal. And let me quickly go. So yeah, you can generate your reports, but these searches are pretty good. So I'll just go and open them for you so you can have a very quick look at them. Proposal history, those won't have anything. Right, so you can see there's our new asset there in our monthly depreciation and gives our amounts. Additions, so right here at the bottom you can see there's an addition. Some of them are fully depreciated, those one is depreciating. If they haven't been depreciated, their status will be new. Right, and let's just change the order there. You can see there is the new um, asset purchase when it is in service, right? Depreciation to date, last depreciation date. There's the transaction. 
So that's a pretty good list there and it's obviously customizable as well. Here is your asset register. There's the asset at the bottom. Here you can see acquisition, depreciation, revaluation, write down, sale and disposal. So your auditors I think will enjoy that one. All right, and then here is the proposals which, well, uh, that I've done while I was testing today, and the, here's the last one that I showed you. All right, so please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to be notified of new videos. If this video had any value for you, I'd really like to hear from you. Thank you.